Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer working remotely in London. Today, I'm gonna to show you a blueprint for the fastest way to becoming a backend engineer. I'll be using roadmap.sh as a guide. It's a great resource, which I'll link in the description down below. It's worth noting that you can click on each of these and they'll expand and sort of show you a little bit more info and maybe some resources on where you can learn about them. Your first question is probably, should I learn all of this? It seems so overwhelming. And the answer is no at least not yet. In this channel, we have one rule. If it feels overwhelming, we break it down into smaller, more manageable chunks. Additionally, I want you to focus on the things that will give you the most bang for your buck. Let's start with internet. I think that you should learn all of the concepts listed here. However, I don't recommend reading what all of them mean one by one through a long chunk of text. Instead, you should slowly build up a dictionary in your head for each of these things as they come up on your journey. For example, if one day you're reading a guide on how to set up your own website and you come across the phrase domain name, I'd say the time has come for you to learn what that means. But not before that. The age old question, which language should I choose? If it's your first language and you have no real idea what you want to do with it, pick something in the C family, like C, C++, C Sharp. Why? Because the basics of these languages are highly transferable amongst themselves. Java is also a pretty good one. C++ was the first language I learned as a kid. I remember I googled how to make games and there were a couple of tutorials on how to make Snake or Tetris, but they were all in C++, so I ended up learning that. Now though, I'm working with Java and Go professionally, so don't feel like if you learn a specific language, you're locked into it for life. If your end goal is to make games or web development, I would recommend something like C Sharp. Java is also a solid choice for web development. JavaScript is a must for web development, but I would not recommend it as a first language. Python is widely used for data science, but again, I would not recommend it as a first language. The reason I wouldn't recommend these two is because they are slightly simpler languages in terms of syntax, and they also skip over a lot of concepts that you're kind of forced to learn if you go down the C family route or the Java route. I would say that these two languages are still just as powerful as the others mentioned on this list, so please feel free to learn them at some point, if they're useful to you, of course. If you want to get into the finance sector and into something like a hedge fund, I'd highly recommend C++. You like embedded systems? C is the way to go. Go and Rust are really cool too. I've seen a lot more job ads actually asking for these recently, so if you find them interesting, go for it. Just pick one, one of these, and start building some projects. You should start with a simple one, like how to print hello world in the terminal, the classic, or you can go a little bit more advanced depending on your experience. After you've done a couple of projects in the language of your choice, it's time to learn one of the most vital tools you'll ever use, and that's Git. I'd suggest starting with GitHub out of the ones on this list. GitLab and Bitbucket all use Git as the underlying tech, so they're really similar. Learn MySQL, just that one. It's highly transferable to most of the ones listed here. In other words, if you learn MySQL, you just have to learn the nuances of any of the other ones if you want to switch to them later down the line. Learn about APIs. I'd suggest learning about REST APIs. These should be the go-to for now. Later down the line, when you're applying for jobs, you may come across some of the others on this list. Then it'll be time to learn about it. While learning about APIs, you also need to learn about authentication and security. You should note down the differences between each of these, their advantages and the disadvantages. But you should try to implement OAuth and Token Auth as a starting point. I think these are the most popularly used right now, but subject to change depending on when you watch this video. Learn about testing. I would start with unit testing, then integration testing. Implement it into your projects and if you don't know how to do that, I can link you some resources down in the description. But little turtle, how do I know when I've studied these concepts enough? You've studied these concepts enough when you're able to build a few simple projects that make use of all of these things in one form or another. At this point, I'd suggest you start applying for jobs, not with the mentality of I need to get hired or if I don't get this job, I'm going to give up. No, you need the mentality of I'm doing this interview as a test to see what I need to work on. Think about it like a practice paper. You start building statistics and seeing what sorts of things will be on the test. As for the rest of this knowledge, you can learn it on the job. You should now have a solid foundation to begin your career as a backend developer. If you found any value in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing, leaving me a like. If you like this type of content, I've got a couple of videos here that may be of interest to you. Please consider checking them out.